is America, where race shouldn't matter. I didn't even know about the racism that Asians still face today, but Marcus raised my conscience. He told me it doesn't matter what someone looks like on the outside. That is why he is giving his time and money to your good causes, and frankly, you should be fucking grateful. Hi, my name is Desiree Munro. I'm the director of David Henry Wang's Yellow Face here at White Box Theatre by Probationary Theatre Company. First of all, it's a great script. I love the script. Um, it's, it's quite fascinating. I think it's a really thought-provoking play. And I think the fact that it's done in a really funny way is um, yeah, a testament to his skill as a playwright. I just love it. Consistently throughout the show, DHH is very frustrated and angry because of the situation he's been put in, which is DHH casts Marcus, a white man, in his play thinking he's an Asian, and uh, things go awry when he finds out he's actually a white man, and he tries to cover up his blunder or mistake by trying to pass him off as a Siberian Jew. I think he's a future star. Yeah, but, but guys, does he look Asian to you? What do you mean, look Asian? When I first saw Marcus, I thought, sure, he's not 100% Asian. According to equity rules, you can't just come out and ask someone their race. That would be illegal and racist. After this happens, Marcus becomes a very famous actor and very well known, but everyone thinks he's Asian American. And he really falls into the role. He enjoys it very much. John Wong has this great new organization, the Asian Leadership Council. You're lecturing me on how to be Asian. It's, I it's think when I first read the script, the thing that struck me about it um, was that there are still issues, unfortunately. When I was living in China, he has got a, like a great admiration for uh, America. And then like, you know, America is like his dreamland. So uh, when he was a boy, he started dreaming about living in America and you know, achieving everything, you know, so-called American dream. Uh, so, uh, but once his American dream is gone, he gets very disappointed and then uh, he gets ill. And my real life was here. My name is Miles Miley. I'm playing a character who's known in this play as Name Withheld on Advice of Counsel. This character is based on a real New York Times reporter. There are investigations going on into campaign finance violations for the 1996 presidential elections that Bill Clinton won. There was implications, there were implications that the Chinese government was funneling money into the Democratic campaign and trying to influence uh, the election on behalf of Clinton. Dad, it's very hard to make yourself look good before a congressional investigation. What about Oli North? It's not impossible, but uh, what does Oli North have that I don't? I think it's just a lovely story about a father and a son and a man, regardless of his race, trying to work out where he belongs and who he is.